All right, true story. A couple days ago, I had to go get an MRI on my foot. My doctor just wanted to figure out how a middle-aged white guy like me could have so much swagger. So I go in to get this done. The radiologist is a super nice lady. She said they've been having trouble with the MRI machine and she'd have to just see how it goes. She said she's had trouble with it every day, but eventually it winds up working. And I said, wow, sounds like that machine has really been testing your patience. But going in to get an MRI reminded me how much I love magnets. And it also reminded me that I haven't shown you guys the mag bag that I made, which I think is going to be the ultimate. I call this thing my liquor bag. No, not because of that. I actually don't drink. I call it my liquor bag because it's got a tongue. Ow. I gotta make a retraction. My last video about the sewn strap, I mistakenly said that Joey Cap had uploaded a video to Tree Life showing a sewn eye. He did not. He actually uploaded it to his wall two and a half years ago. Then somebody else uploaded a clip of that to Tree Life. My mistake. My point in adding that to the video, it's a touchy subject when you talk about sewing your own stuff at home. And now here's something less controversial. All right, we'll get back to my bag with the tongue in a second. First of all, I love magnets. They're just cool. There's all kinds of things you can do with a magnet. Tom Dunlap put one in the bottom of his silky sheath. Then when he puts a saw in, clicks right in. I've seen them used on bags to hold a rope. I've even got a magnetic carabiner from Black Diamond. Magical. Turns out magnets are kind of a cool feature to add to a lot of gear, except rope bridges. Don't use them in rope bridges. Trust me. See? Told you, it's all perfectly safe. But today I want to talk about mag bags. Bags that are sealed with magnets so you can open and close them over and over again. Let me show you that part first. What I did was I ordered some heavy duty material. It's the kind they make uh, camping backpacks out of, that kind of stuff. It's waterproof. I sewed it with heavy duty nylon thread and I sewed three magnets right into the opening of the bag up here. I sewed a piece of sheet metal right across here. So when I close it, it just kind of snaps shut and it stays. And I can open up part of the bag and pull rope out and the rest of the bag stays shut. Now there's something different about this bag you might have already noticed. Not the tongue, not yet. On the bottom of the bag, I left it open and I tied it with a bungee so it's got this stretchy opening here to put things in. The nice thing about that is I can run my hook rope out the bottom so I can pull the hook out and use it independently of whatever else I've got on this rope. Another thing I noticed about other mag bags that are available out there is that they, they didn't hold enough capacity for me. I wanted to get 50 feet of rope to use with my hook. They were just under that. I got 50 feet of dragonfly and it fits very nicely in this bag. The other end of the rope I've configured to use as a lanyard. You could just leave it open. You could run the hook out of the top. It doesn't really matter. The, the bag's flexible. The nice thing about this though is that I've got a 50 foot rope on my hook. I've also got a 50 foot lanyard if I want to, or I've got 25 feet on each that I can use either direction. This gives me a lot of flexibility and options in the tree. Options usually aren't a bad thing. I'm not gonna carry this big bag with me every time, but if I'm playing around doing traverses, it's nice to have the options. On the back of the bag, I've got a hardened steel clip, slipped right into my harness, it's bolted on here. It's also sewn on on the inside uh, so that it's, it's nice and sturdy. It's not gonna go anywhere. You're probably wondering about the tongue. Let me show you. Okay, so on the back end of this bag, I've got a slot here, and I've got this funny tongue looking thing here. A lot of bags are not designed to use with the DMM captain. What I did was, the end of the hook goes into the slot, and as soon as it presses on this tongue, just like that, it grabs it. And that was so sexy, we're gonna have to watch it again in slow motion. Nice. And this just kind of holds the hook in place so it doesn't go anywhere when I'm swinging around in the tree. You might be wondering what kind of manly engineering went into this little marble right here to make this work. And uh, I'll tell you, that manly engineering is right here. Saw my kids playing with it and thought, I can use that for something. So I've got four of them sewn into my little tongue here. This thing stays up while it's on my harness because it's pressed up against me. And as soon as you put the hook back in and press up against it, closes right down on it and holds it in place. I know it's quirky, it's a gimmick, but it's fun and that's really what it's all about for me. So I'm going with it. I like it. The rope gets fed out of the bottom of the bag like this, however much you need for climbing on. The reason I put elastic down here is so you can actually pop the knot and the ring from that hook right up in there and it, it holds it nicely for you. That's my idea. Now if you would like to purchase this bag, you can't. It's mine. I made it just to give you ideas, it's not for sale. I purposely just put it here to taunt you. So tell me what you think about this down in the comments. Do you like the idea of the rope coming out the bottom for the hook and a separate opening for the lanyard in the top? Be honest, what do you think about that goofy tongue on there? If you love it, if you hate it, 
whatever, let me know. And as always, please subscribe. Or don't, I don't care. See? Told you, it's all perfectly safe. So they say a good magician never reveals his secrets. Well, I say boring. It's exactly what we're going to do. So here's lesson one on how to fall out of a tree. Some people just live their lives. Other people try really hard to make all their dreams come true. I, on the other hand, try and recreate all my nightmares in real life. So I've got this prusik, got it going down here, hooked to my actual bridge. It goes up over that beaner and back down to this thing. And when I pull it out, I'm released. Bugs. Ah! Nothing. I'm okay. Just had to yell. That should make a nice bone crunchy sound. out of the way. You can go wait over there again, okay? Okay. See? Told you. It's all perfectly safe. Ah! Perfectly safe. <laughs> and dumb. No, I'm okay, thanks. <laughs>